Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you a video I made a while back for another YouTuber on his channel as a sort of a collab type scenario. The main reason I'm doing that is because my PC crapped out the other day and I had a video plan, but I never got around to doing it. So it was my bad. My PC decided to crap out. I had to reinstall Windows and reinstall my drivers. It's like 11 o'clock right now on Tuesday night and I need a video up by tomorrow. So I'm gonna upload this review of the WD MyCloud. It was for Tech Me Now's YouTube channel, uh, Toby. He's a really awesome dude. So if you haven't checked him out, link will be in the description down below, but go check him out. Uh, basically it's a review of the WD MyCloud, something that I use on a daily basis and it's a really awesome product and it's a kind of a throwback because I look very baby-like with my little beard and all that sort of stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do, leave a like, if you dislike, leave a dislike and stay tuned because we have a really big project coming up that I just got done working on and I think you all are going to be really excited to see it. Thanks again guys and peace out. How's it going guys? My name is Matt and I'm from the Toasty Bros. I'm going to be your guest host today on Tech Me Now TV. Special thanks to Toby for having me on and without further ado, I'm going to get into a review that my people on my channel have been asking for a long time. I'm going to do a review of the WD MyCloud. Basically what it is, how it benefits me as a content creator, and how it can benefit you as an everyday Joe. If you want to check out my channel, link will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into the review. Roll that intro. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be reviewing the WD MyCloud, which in basic terms is a home NAS solution. For those who do not know what a home NAS is, a NAS is a network attached storage device. And basically people use these to offload their files from their main computer in case of a catastrophic like failure to the hard drive. They also have a backup solution. So just think of it as a backup solution that can be attached to your network so anyone on that network can access it. And in this case, WD made one that is more of a MyCloud variant, which in cloud, meaning you can access it from your iPhone, your iPad, all these different devices from anywhere you are around the world. And we're gonna get into just exactly how that works. First off, the unit I have is the WD MyCloud single bay version with a two terabyte hard drive in it. It doesn't offer the most redundant solution out there, but there are ways I can combat this. It does come with a USB 3.0 port, so if I wanted to add a USB 3.0 external hard drive, I could, and then offload the footage from the MyCloud to this external drive and move that to a remote location which is vital for somebody who makes content like I do where I'm filming all the B-roll and all the actual footage like I'm doing right now. And I want a place to offload and save it because I like saving everything I create, like absolutely everything I create for you know memory purposes and that sort of thing. So if I want a storage solution, the MyCloud really works well for me. I have it set up with the software to update and back up all my files to the MyCloud whenever there's some downtime in the production process. So basically in the middle of the night, if I have my computer turned on, it backs it up. And also I make sure I back up the rendered file to the MyCloud so I do not lose rendered footage in case there's copyright claim issues coming around. So really, as a content creator, it's awesome to have a backup solution, whether it's a MyCloud or a NAS that you built yourself. Now the DIY people out there will say, Matt, why don't you just build your own NAS? You build computers and that sort of thing on YouTube, why don't you just build your own? And while that is a very awesome solution and something I plan on doing down the line, the one thing that building your own NAS can't compete with is the WD MyCloud software and user interface. I am not the only one that uses the MyCloud. Everyone in my family has some access to it. They have a file that's based on their name and they upload their documents or pictures or that sort of thing that they wanna save. I highly recommend and have made them do that sort of thing. So in case of a catastrophic failure to their hard drives, they know exactly where their files are gonna be. So the MyCloud isn't just for me and I really want a user interface that's very clean and easy for them to use to where I'm not running all over the place trying to explain to them how to use this software. So having the MyCloud software is so easy that it runs on iPhone, iPad, your laptop, the desktop computer, and it just works seamlessly and they know how to use it. That is worth the money when I paid for this MyCloud. It really is beneficial and saves me a lot of time helping other people while I'm actually doing the content that I need to do. In summary of what I like the most about the MyCloud is the seamless integration from the software to the beautiful design of it. It works very well and it's very lightweight. It actually fits very well on my wall mounted and it has not fallen, that sort of thing. I have a lot of trust in it just staying up there because it's really not that heavy a device and it looks really nice on my networking wall back here. 
So would I recommend you get the MyCloud for the price? It ultimately depends. If you're a PC enthusiast that loves to build things and tinker and that sort of thing, I probably recommend you build your own NAS because for the price, you can get something that's very solid and use parts that are lying around and that sort of thing. But if you're somebody who wants a plug and play solution, very easy user interface and really clean design, pick up the MyCloud, it's really worth getting. And there's also a mirror version that adds that redundancy that I really want from my MyCloud without having to add a external USB drive. So that's also something to consider. It's probably a little bit pricier, but I would look into the mirror version if you wanna go something with more redundancy. So with all that being said, thank you guys again for watching this video. My name is Matt, and if you wanna check out our channel, go to the Toasty Bros. Our link is in the description below. Special thanks to Toby for having us on his channel in the guest spot. We're nearing 10K subscribers if we haven't passed that already. We create custom PC builds and all that sorts of tech reviews, and we really enjoy creating content, and we wanna have some more viewers on our channel. Special thanks to Toby, he's a really awesome dude, really awesome content, and thank you again for having us as a guest on his channel, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.